What is going on everybody? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone. I am coming at you from the wood room, the wood shop <clears throat> at Texas Toast Guitars in Denver, Colorado. And I thought I would do a little experiment today talking about tone wood. Which one's the best one and which one's the worst? So as you are aware, this is a very hotly contested topic. One of the things that's come up in the, in the tons in videos lately, when we've been featuring guitars like, for example, the PRS Silver Sky, people will jump in the comments and be like, well, Poplar sucks because it's so soft and you're gonna strip out screws, blah, 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 blah. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I've got a screw gun here. I've got a piece of pick guard material here. I've got a piece of ash, as in a piece of ash. I've got a piece of mahogany, and I've got a piece of poplar. You can tell it's poplar because it's kind of green and weird looking. So <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we've pre-drilled a hole and chamfered it like you would normally in a pick guard. We're gonna take a pick guard screw and we're gonna run it in and out of this block of wood as many times as it takes for it to strip out. Then we're gonna go into this piece of mahogany. We're gonna do the same thing. Then we're gonna go into this piece of ash and do exactly the same thing. I don't have any alder, otherwise I would try some alder. Um, but alder is so ubiquitous and everybody uses it. So I just figured I would use, I'm, I'm really concerned about poplar because everybody thinks that it's so soft and easy, easy to strip out and they think it's such a crap wood. When in reality, the density and the weight is really, really close to alder anyway, but everybody thinks it's cheap for some reason, which personally I think is stupid, but I have also never like proven anything with it. So today we're gonna do that. So what we're gonna do is we've got this little camera right here on a magnet that is gonna give us a time lapse. We're gonna stick it right here. We're going to put this right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna time lapse this so it doesn't take forever but we're gonna go back then and count how many times, and here's how I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna take my thumb, I'm gonna place pressure on the side of here, and pressure on here, and we're just gonna go up and down and up and down and up and down with a pick guard screw. And many times as it takes before this starts to strip, we're gonna then go back, watch the time lapse, we're gonna count it, and we're gonna see how many times you can take your pick guard off of your ash body guitar, off of your mahogany guitar, or off of your poplar guitar before you strip out the screws. Is this whole, this wood is so soft and stupid and blah, 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 cheap, a real thing? Or could one of these other woods surprise us with how easy it will strip out? I'll tell you what, put your predictions in the comments now. So let's pop to the time lapse. I don't know what the results of this is. I have a feeling but this is science. Science isn't about feelings or magic or any stupid stuff like that. It's about figuring it out. Let's jump to the time lapse. Okay, so I went and looked at all the footage and the results are in. And I think the results may surprise you a little bit. So we're gonna go in order of what you saw. And the first was a piece of swamp ash, which many, many guitars are made out of. It's like one of my favorite things. And it's like the fanciest tone wood. People love that stuff. And uh, it's stripped out in 14 times. So if you have a white, an ash body guitar, I would be careful with uh, how many times you take your pick guard on and off. 14 times. All right, interesting, kinda. Mahogany, this is, uh, what kind of mahogany is this, Matt? Is this Honduran, is this, uh, it's the most, oh, you should taste it. Honduran. Is it Honduran, okay. Okay, cool. So, uh, Honduran mahogany, and this stripped out in 20 times. Interesting, right? Now, Poplar, the one that everybody thinks is 
the dumbest one ever, actually, is the happiest one ever. 29 times it took to strip out this screw hole. Uh, you saw the video. Um, I actually had to do it twice. You know, see there's two holes here? I actually had to do it twice because it was taking so long that I gave up and I'm like, ah, this is a dumb test. I actually shot this first with the strongest drill motor, actually, Matt pointed out to me. Um, and, you know, with the freshest battery and it lasted 29 times. And I'm just like kind of surprised by that because everybody wants to tell me how crappy this wood is. Yes, okay, so it's kind of ugly, it's green, but if you paint it, there's nothing wrong with it. Fortunately, unfortunately, I should say, we do not have any alder handy uh, to compare to these, but nobody disputes the use of alder, so who cares about that? I just wanted to compare it to two other guitar woods that people use commonly. You can get in the comments and contest my testing methods or anything, but I don't care. We pretty much made the point. There you go. Thanks for hanging out. Make sure you check out our live stream on Thursday, our news on Wednesday, and uh, I'm gonna put a link in the description below where you can come here to Texas Toast Guitars. You can build a guitar. You can wind your own pickups in a week. It's a thing that I'm digging. It's cool to be a part of it. So I wanna keep sharing it with you. Check it out in the comments. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you soon.